Hey guys, at start I would like you to know that I am aware of how bad my English is, but I haven't been speaking it for like 2 years now. Desire to self improve in that area is also one of the reasons I'm making these videos. Anyway, let's go back to game. This series of videos I'm planning to make will be about new Odyssey armors and how they shake up job specific gearing meta. Those armor sets were introduced in February 2021 update and comes from Odyssey. I'm not gonna go into details how to get it because it's not really the point of this video. That being said, getting it involves relatively easy fight and at least 30 million skills for whole one set. Augmenting it is whole different story. It will most likely require a really long and hard grind. It was data mined that Augment might possibly go even up to rank 30, but currently highest rank that 100% confirmed is 20. So for purpose of tower crafting I will use exactly that rank and for practical showcase I will use rank 0, because I'm actually far from even starting the augmenting process. This video will cover Gladys set for thief and dancer jobs. At start I will say that Gladys set mostly have big impact for weapon skills sets for those jobs but few pieces are also good for different purposes, once they are augmented high enough. First, let's talk about Dancer. Keep in mind that important condition for Gladys set to be practically functional is capping attack. So I will talk only about capped attack situation and I will soon release a video with tips how to cap attack on Dancer even with just trust. All three main weapon skills on Dancer got a boost with addition of Gladys. Evisecration got boost by around 7%. Perig by around 11% and Rudra only by 2% or none if you have access to great dark matter augment Herculean pieces. For Evisecration you should use 4 Gladys pieces with Ademar Bonnet plus 1 Puff B. For Rudra you only should use Gladys body. For Perig you should use 4 Gladys pieces with Lustratiofit Puff D. For both Evisecration and Perik you can also use full Gladys set with very minimal drop in DPS, but significant boost in defense. DPS numbers you see on screen now are with best combo of weapons for matching weapon skill. So Turret for Evisecration, Twashtar with DP bonus dagger offhand for Rudra and Terpsy with Twashtar offhand for Perik. Like you can see Terpsy is now significantly ahead of Twashtar Rudra, but keep in mind this is only for weapon skill spamming. Rudra is still the most OP dancer weapon skill to pair with Climactic Flourish and to create massive self skill chain. That being said there are two big advantages of Perik and Evisecration now. First is the old one and is eye level offhand, which means you don't need any special accuracy buffs and gear swaps to maintain accuracy with your offhand, like it is often required for TP bonus dagger in Rudra build. Second is the new one and its massive survivability boost in weapon skill set. Full Gladys set provides minus 40 physical damage taken, decent evasion and magic evasion and by far highest magic defense bonus in game. I personally hate the situation where I wear full malignant set for TP and I feel pretty safe only to get one shooted or destroyed by barrage of hits during weapon skills because of huge drop in defensive stats. This is especially frustrating while evasion tanking several monsters on Thief. Ok, since I mentioned Thief, let's move to this job now. For Rudra and Evis, situation is almost the same as it was with Dancer. Only small difference for Rudra is that you should also use Gladys hands beside the body because Thief doesn't have 10% weapon skill damage gloves. Mandalic build will now be 3% better and it's normally still far behind other builds, but keep in mind that Mandalic has 75% attack boost and in low buff scenario where that attack boost is fully utilized this build might actually come ahead. It's also worth to mention that while normal Mandalic damage is a lot under Rudras, this changes with sneak attack and trick attack, thanks to Vyra huge critical damage bonus while using these abilities. So here are DPS numbers broken down to just weapon skill spam and weapon skill spam including sneak and trick attack usage on cooldown. Eviscaration build is set to use Rudra with sneak and trick attack. Ok, that will be all. Now I need to go and play the game for a little because I have been in those sheets for 10 days now. After that I will prepare next part and it will probably be about Sakpeta set. Also, in the description of this video I have links to updated dancer and diff sheets. Have a nice day everyone and see you again!